In this video, I'm gonna take you through using the sample deck and some of the sequencer basics inside the program. I'm gonna cover all the basics of what you need to know to get up and running right away to start your beat. Check it out. The sample deck in Serato Studio is very simple, yet very powerful. It follows the recent legacy of Serato Sample, which is a VST and audio units plugin that works inside of digital audio workstations. Sampling is very fun, powerful, and a fast way of making music. It involves manipulating existing audio to make it a part of your own new composition. The sample deck works with audio files such as MP3, WAV, AIFF, and other file types. Serato Studio comes with a large library of high quality samples found in the Audio Samples tab in the library. You will continue to receive new samples with your subscription. You can also load audio samples from your Serato DJ Library tab. Once a sample is loaded into the sample deck, it can be manipulated via cue points, parameters, and auto set features to record sequences to make music. You can also use your own audio and drum samples in the sample deck. To load an audio sample in the sample deck, go to the audio sample tab in the library. There you will see the all audio samples loop crate. Then you will see sub crates with different types of genres. When you click on one of them, you'll find different audio sample loops. Select the one that you like and then click and drag it into the sample deck. You will notice that the sample deck will be highlighted in purple as you load the sample. When the sample is loaded into the sample deck, you will see a view of the waveform along with the metadata information such as name, artist, BPM, and key. You will also see that the BPM gives the original tempo of the sample, but sync will be turned on, which will time stretch the sample to fit the tempo of the session. This ensures everything that you load will be in time with your project. You can also half or double time the sample so that it's slower or faster, but still in time with your project. You also have the option to turn sync off but it's possible that the tempo of the sample will not work with the project. Sometimes it's possible to do creative manipulation of samples with sync off. Once the sample is loaded to the sample deck, you will notice that eight automatic cue points are placed along the timeline of the audio sample. This is done by the Find Samples Auto Set feature. This feature searches for parts of the sample that will work well together for playing to record a sequence. You can play the cue points using your computer's keyboard, a MIDI controller, or a Serato DJ approved controller or mixer. If you do not like the cue points, you can click on the Find Samples Auto Set feature to generate another set of eight cue points. The sample deck will search the sample to find additional parts to work together. Please note, there are other auto set features such as Set Random and Slicer, and also Serato DJ, the latter which will allow you to use your cue points from your Serato DJ files. If you find cue points that you like, you can favorite them by individually pressing the favorite for each of the cue points you will see a star appear for each of the individual cue points that you favorite. If you press find samples after setting favorites, new cue points will appear while favorite cue points will remain in the same place. To remove a favorite cue point, select the cue point and press the star to unfavorite the cue point. There are two different play modes for cue points, hold and trigger. When hold is selected, the audio for the cue point will play as long as you press the cue point. When you let go of the cue point, the audio will stop. This is great for playing shorter samples. When trigger is selected, the audio for the cue point will play continuously without holding the cue point. The audio will change and continue to play when the next cue point is pressed. This is great to use for playing longer portions of a sample. This is also how the cue points behave in Serato DJ. 
For each cue point, you can set an endpoint to truncate the playback of the sample. At the bottom of the cue point in the sample, you will see an anchor. If you click and drag on the anchor, you can move and set the anchor to a place of your choosing. When you play back the cue point, it will only play from the beginning of the cue point start to the end where the anchor is placed. This is great for playing certain parts of the sample for particular phrasing. For cue points, you can play them in mono or poly. In mono playback, you will only be able to play one cue point at a time. As soon as you play another cue point, the first cue point will be cut off. In poly mode, for playback of cue points, you can play multiple cue points at the same time without having any of them getting cut off. This is great for layering sounds. In keyboard mode, you have the option to play a particular sound on a cue point over 88 keys for the full keyboard octave ranges. When you choose the cue point, you can click on the piano symbol which will spread the sound over the 88 keys. If you're using your computer's typing keyboard, you can use the letters shown on the sample deck to play the notes in the octave range. If you want to change the octave range to go higher, press the letter X. To change the octave range to go lower, press the letter Z. You can play keyboard mode in mono or poly. With poly, you have the option to play chords. If you don't have any music theory, you can press play and key to ensure that the keys you play will play in the key of your project. You can also use a MIDI keyboard to trigger the notes. As well, you can use an approved Serato DJ controller with pads to trigger the notes. If the controller has parameter buttons, you can use the left and right parameter buttons to decrease or increase the octave ranges respectively. The sample sequencer is simple and yet powerful for creating sequences in your deck. When using a sample deck, a sample sequencer will appear with eight notes, one per cue point. Each note will be the same color as the cue point. The color of the cue point represents a frequency of sound. Darker colors represent lower frequencies. Warmer colors represent mid-range frequencies. And brighter colors represent high frequencies. When you play the cue points in the sample deck, they will also trigger in the sample sequencer. When you record a sequence, you will see the notes appear in the sample sequencer. To record a sequence using your computer keyboard, you can use the keys on your keyboard to trigger the notes. Once recorded, you can shorten or extend the notes by placing the cursor at the beginning or the end of the note by using the brackets to click and drag on the note to make the adjustment. You can also draw on notes by clicking and dragging along the grid. To select notes, hold down Shift on your keyboard and make the selection by clicking and dragging. This allows you to duplicate, delete, cut, copy, or paste the notes easily. You can move your notes off grid by clicking and dragging them. When moving a note off grid, it will maintain its off grid position. Another way to achieve off grid notes and to add a more human feel to your sequence is to use the swing knob. Turning this up will swing every second note in the swing grid to play back later. To increase the scene size, click the plus button next to the scene size display. Scenes can be up to 32 beats in length, which is eight bars. By default, when you start a track, you will be given one bar. If you want to extend the note past the first bar and to the second bar or any bar after that, you can use the cursor at the end of the note and use the right bracket to click and drag the note into the second page or the pages follow. When the deck sequencer is collapsed, you will see a waveform representation of the MIDI notes that were played. The rendered waveforms are dynamic, representing the frequencies of the audio based on the sample. To expand the view of the sample sequencer, click the Deck Collapse button in between the sample deck and the sample sequencer. This will allow you to see the sample sequencer in a wider view. 
the sample deck will disappear when the sample sequencer is made wider. To return back to the original view of the sample deck and the sample sequencer, click the Deck Show button to the left of the expanded sample sequencer. So that's how you use the sample deck and the sequencer inside of Serato Studio. Have fun creating music. And make sure you check out www.serato.com forward slash studio to learn more.